What's up, boys? I'm super excited about what we got going on today because we're just gonna be hanging out, looking at some cool ass wheels. From chrome to bronze, old to new, today we're gonna be looking at some of the most stylish monoblock one piece wheels to come out of Japan. Hopefully, this video can help to inspire your build if that's what you're looking for and prevent at least one kid from going down this route. Get that out of here. Now, if you don't see your favorite wheel on this list, feel free to leave a comment down below. I couldn't include every single good looking wheel possible, and we're gonna stay away from the smaller stuff like Long Champs and Watanabe's for this video. But I think I put together a pretty solid list, so let's get into it. Starting off with a wheel you've probably never seen before, the uh, Volk TE37. Stupid. <laughs> Jokes aside, we had to start it off with this one, boys. I personally really like seeing them on a car embracing that attack or GT styling like this gray 86 right here, or this white one, or this red one. Can you tell I like GT86s? <laughs> they also look fantastic on a more toned down street build like this beautiful R35 or Adam LZ's green S15 right here. I don't know if you'd consider Adam's S15 as toned down, but, but exterior wise when comparing it to those other GT builds we just saw, I mean, I don't know, that's, that's just me. Very sleek arrow kit on there. And that bronze just hits so hard on that bright green. They come in many different finishes and styles. We got the SLs with spokes that are a bit skinnier and hell, we even got an off-road version. But boys, my favorites have to be straight up chrome. I mean, look at this car, but it's just icy. Can't go wrong with chrome on white, man. And if you got a good eye, you probably spotted some CR Kai's in the back and don't worry, we'll get to those a little later. All right, let's say you really like the TE37s, but for some reason you just really want to remove a spoke. Well, instead of taking an angle grinder to your expensive wheels, it might be a good idea just to sell them and pick up a set of Nismo LMGTs. That may be a little bit easier said than done given the rarity of these wheels. So keep your eyes open for a set of Urus NS01s, which are honestly not the easiest to get your hands on either. So you might just want to go with one of the other options we're going to talk about today. Although Nomuken, the owner of Urus, did recently just uh, announced that he's considering bringing back some of his older wheel designs, so I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and move on to something that's still in production. The Rega Master. You've probably seen this wheel on a lot of RX-7s and Hondas. It's super lightweight and you gotta love a star-shaped wheel, man. I think my favorite thing about these wheels besides the shape is the finishes that they come in. The gray and the gold are absolutely beautiful, but this like polished silver just, oh man, that is so good, especially with that deep lip. That's nice. And these wheels are probably the best example of lettering on the face of the wheel up there with TE37s. The Desmond and Evo logos really pop on that simple design and kind of make the wheels for me, to be honest. Here's a TRD Black Edition GT86. The fitment is uh, it's pretty ass, but uh, <laughs> I love the way these wheels look on the body lines of the GT86. I had to throw one in here in Black Edition TRD. Mm, okay. Here's a couple of more FDs showing off these wheels and giving them the respect they deserve. Man, this FD is insane. This is one of the first attack style FDs I ever got to see in person out in Houston, Texas beautiful car man those regas man they just oh, this is like the perfect car to be the ambassador for these wheels all right fdrx7 is a great segue into our next wheel ray's gram light 57 dr and here we have austin's car from never content this car was hands down the inspiration for me to get them on my old gt86 i had a set of 17s i probably would have gone 18s but i made them work and these are probably some of my favorite wheels of all time made by the same company that makes the te37s we checked out earlier these are very similar in style and some might even call them the poor man's te37 sl that's kind of a joke though because these wheels really aren't that cheap either and just like the te37 they come with a variety of stickers that you can apply on the spokes and one of my favorite features of this wheel is that they're actually engraved with the Ray's engineering logo on the face of the wheel and once again we have some absolutely beautiful finishes one of my favorite finishes of all time we've got gun blue right here it's great for those that like a dark colored wheel but still want your wheels to be able to show up in pictures the matte finish really does a great job of reflecting a little bit of light and the smallest hint of blue in that gray really makes these wheels pop on any color car aside from the gun blue a lot of people like to do a custom chrome finish to these wheels and man is that that's insane. And we got this car on a, uh, a set. It's not chrome, but it's silver. It's one of the factory finishes. And something interesting about this car I thought I'd throw in right there is uh, if you look closely, do you, do you notice anything? Do you notice anything, boys? Yep, that's a GR86 bumper mounted up to a GT86. So uh, they actually molded the GR bumper onto the GT. So that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Works though. Also, man, have you guys seen the Sakura pink color too as well? It's not like fluorescent. It's like a, it's like a soft pink and I think it looks really good. This is one of the only valid pink wheels in my book. Get that out of here. Why does that keep showing up? All right, we'll go through this next one pretty quick. We also got the Ray's 57 CR, basically the five spoke version of the 57 DR we just talked about. I actually got to see these in person this past year at the Tokyo Auto Salon on the new Urus GT86 build. And that kit is awesome. Here's a good example to show you the fitment is absolutely everything. They look kind of goofy right here, but as soon as you drop the car about an inch out of 15, 10, 15 mil space around there, that's a winner. Also check out this dandelion color. It looks pretty cool. Reminds me of like a yellow Game Boy color, bro. I don't know why that's the first thing that comes to my head. So five spokes isn't enough for you and six spokes isn't enough for you. Well, you're in luck because we do have the Gram Light 57 ER series. Yep, third third set of Gram Lights right here, back to back. <laughs> now these are the Work Emotion T7s. A very popular wheel in both the drift and stance scenes. They look very beautiful tucked up in the fender and look a little similar to Gram Lights. Super clean 8.6 right here, rocking the white T7s on that beautiful charged speed body kit. 
We got a dark blue one right here with that TRD kit showing off that bronze finish. And a black one with the INGS kit rocking that dark gray finish that looks very similar to that gun blue we saw earlier. There are a couple of different variations of these wheels and a very similar style called the XT7s with spokes that are flat as opposed to the little step down that the T7s have. I probably wouldn't go any smaller than an 18 on these wheels on most builds because they just look so good when they fill out the wheel well. Model 5, the People's Champ. I know you guys probably been waiting for this one. That super thin spoke gives off a very classy but also aggressive and sharp look that works whether you're cutting it up in the streets or at the track. Check out this beautiful S13 with delivery from Car Life Support Mantis out in Japan. Here we can really see those sharp spokes emphasized by those hard lines on that livery. And as we can see here, they also work very well on a modern chassis. I bet you weren't expecting another 8.6, huh? <laughs> And what did I tell you boys? Look at these wheels at the track, man. They work so well in pictures. The Model 5s have always been popular, but they've actually become so popular that Get Japan out in California has actually started importing them and restoring them with some gorgeous custom finishes like this chrome, this pink, and this awesome brownish, like chocolatey, mm, just bronze. I don't know, it's, it's beautiful, bro. Here's one more 8.6 for you. No, I had to throw one in there at the end. Silver on silver, man. Once again from AVS, we have their Model T6. I think if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably go with the Model 5s, but these are valid too. I got a couple S13s right here, as well as my boy mismatching some colors on his Futago line shop BRZ. Another popular six spoker, we got the grenades. I guess these are technically reps of R34 wheels. Shame on me, bro, promoting reps. Did you guys expect this from me? You guys thought, you guys thought I'd be on here promoting reps? Well, this is one of the rare cases, kind of like the NSO ones that we looked at earlier. But they're still kind of accepted as cool. I mean, I joke about the pink wheels and stuff, but I mean, I really only care about what's going on in my own car. Y'all can do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. It's not that deep, boys. Or is it? Here's a look at a real set of R34 wheels on my boy Bork is his GT86. You got them all chromed out, looking nice. And these wheels just look so good with a fancy brake kit, because, you know, we got a lot of viewing room right there with those thin spokes. Speaking of OEM Nissan wheels, these 370 Nismo wheels are pretty nice tucked up in this legendary S13 from Japan. The owner actually built this car around fitting these wheels. And we can't speak about Nissan on wheels without mentioning the R33s. When I did a poll on my Instagram to kind of figure out what, what kind of wheels I wanted to add to this video, a lot of you guys were shouting at me saying, R33 wheels, R33 wheels. So, you know, I had to include them. Be honest, they're a little bit boring for me. And I know some of you guys are going to hate me for that take. These wheels kind of have a cult following, but it's just the same reason I'm not super into RPF ones. They're just not my taste, but I wanted to throw them in here because I know they're a good option for a lot of people. Yeah, I said it. Regular RPF ones are not for me. And I know a lot of people probably expected them on this list. Well, I guess they are now. <laughs> but damn, I just saw those new RPF one RSs, the deep ones those are hot it's basically just a regular rpf1 with a much deeper lip nk even got that same s13 we saw just a second ago to model these wheels for their actual website that's that's some awesome marketing man they look damn good all right let's check out two very beautiful sets of wheels that are somewhat similar in styling both with their own little details differentiating them if you look at them closely. The T5R, having that same slight step down on the spokes that their dad, the T7 has. I like it like this, tucked in the rear, not, not a bunch of crazy camber in the back. Looks good. And then we got the Advan TC4s, which seem to be a very popular wheel with some of Japan's most legendary drivers. Here's Knob's Icy White S15 and Max Arado's brand new GR86. And that S15 is the definition of perfect for me. Everything paint match from the wing to the eyelids on the headlights. And I believe this man is sitting on some 20s right here. Those are some big ass wheels <laughs> and man look at this gr86 right here with these white tc4s just pop on that blue man those various attack style fenders nerding out right now rg2 rg3 rg4 minecraft minecraft okay we got these three iterations of the same wheel from advent racing the rg2 being the oldest and the rg4 being the newest similar to the r34 wheels we saw earlier they have a very thin spoke which leaves lots of room for showing off that big brake kit i've seen these wheels on a lot more gt or track oriented builds and they're some of my favorites probably because they kind of remind me of like a slim version of the 57d MB Battles, super easy to identify with that very unique spoke shape, kind of like a triangle that just fountains off at the lip of the wheel. The interesting thing about these wheels is that the company that originally made them stopped making them, and then after they stopped making them, they just continued to grow in popularity, secondhand prices continued to rise, and actually Motegi picked up the patent. I don't really know the deep business details on how that went, but they actually make these wheels now. So you can pick these wheels up for a decently affordable price if you don't care about them not being like the OG or whatever. And here's a blast back to the early 2000s with these Buddy Club P1s. There's something about these that just kind of like super Y2K feel about it. Is that kind of, yo, is that cringe to say so? Calling something Y2K? Is that like a TikTok of me? I don't know, bro. But these are cool. These wheels are cool. They remind me of the early 2000s. And uh, yeah, they look awesome on this S15 right here. Beautiful. All right, we're back in TE37 territory as far as price goes. I think we've kind of actually hit that a couple times already, but here we got the Ray CE28Ns. These wheels are just a work of art. And you're probably only gonna see these on like very high quality attention to detail builds for the most part. Those kind of builds seem to be like the main customer base for these wheels. These are race car wheels, bro. Race car. Oh, and look at the livery on this car with that blue, mm, classy. 
I'm rocking that, that various attack style kit. Very, very nice, boys. I love this. And this FD right here. Need I say more? Well, I got I got one more thing to say. So, <laughs> I love the little notching in the lug nut area. That kind of look reminds me like a flower or like a sun shape. It's very pretty. And here's Works take on that style of wheel, or maybe Ray's take on Works with whatever. It's here's here's Works take on that style of wheel. If you weren't into the the flowery sun look on the lug nut area, the Work D9Rs have a very similar presence to those CE 28 ends. Maybe for your cars, the Rays will offer a size that that you want that the Works aren't offering. Vice versa. Maybe you just like the Ray's brand better, vice versa, either one. People got all sorts of reasons why certain wheels connect to them, so. Both are very nice, though. All right, we finally got to them, boys. CR Kai's. A very different spoke style than anything we've covered so far. These are very popular in chrome and white, but are actually offered in a variety of wacky colors. Like, we got reds, blues, oranges, this green right here. Here's a couple of shots of these wheels on some cars. Just a good looking wheel, man. And the last wheel of the day, boys, we got the Exels. We had to save a special one for the end. Here's my guy Vilber's super clean drift 86 in white, and here's Brian's in black. Pretty loud, man. They definitely stand out. I think for some people, it's kind of like a love it or hate it wheel because it's just so different. And you're probably not going to be showing off any big brake kits with these wheels, but I love them. All right, boys, that was a fun one. Feel free to follow me on Instagram right here if you want to stay up to date on the videos. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching. Appreciate y'all. See you soon. Thank you.